thing to do. Guess I wasn't that smart. Lupino's tenement buildings were a seedy hangout for all kinds of sleaze. A liquor store, a pawn shop, a laundromat full of mobster bookies and loan sharks. The list went on. The how and why of it was a mystery to me, but they knew I was a cop. They knew I was coming, and they were going to get real trigger-happy about it. I got to see Lupino's hangout all lit up. A bomb went off, turning snow into liquid gold. A pillar of fire lifted the remains of a car straight up into the air. The flames were highlighted on the hood of a black Mercedes Benz as it coasted down the street real slow, as if the driver didn't have a worry in the world. I got a good look at the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir, the head of the local Russian mob, the fly in Don Punchinello's soup. The ringing in my ears was the sound of a mob war being waged. exploded inside the closest slum building. It was a lucky break. The goons inside were spooked, but luck always came with a price tag. More bombs could still be taken inside, and the cops would already be on their way. Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. At least it used to be, before the explosive makeover. The headlines were a depressing read. The headlines were screaming bloody murder. The storm was a screaming duet with the approaching prowl car sirens. It was all a scream when you were down for the count and wanted for murder. So, did we continue to go this way? I mean, that's the only thing about this game, it doesn't give any hits. I know somebody in there. We gotta use this. We got to. Oh no! Oh no! What the hell? These niggas is twins or some shit. It's coming. Tweeping. They they thinking about their life right now. The whole building was rigged with explosives. We just walk right into a try. Okay. okay. So it looks like we're gonna die. Damn. One terrible way to die. Um. Yep. We're dead. Another bomb exploded inside the closest slum building. Well, no fucking shit! It was a lucky break. The goons inside were spooked, but luck always came with a price tag. More bombs could still be taken inside, and the cops would already be. The whole building was rigged with explosives. to figure out I finally figured it out y'all. Uh looks like we're out of ammo. 
the hell? Bro, if you don't get the... Okay. There we go. Ooh. Okay. Nope, already had the Glock ready. Already had it ready. <laughs> in it a whole time. What the hell call me, man? A beaten up phone in the entrance hall was ringing. It could have been just a junkie in need of a fix, but it turned out to be something more sinister than that. Am I speaking to Mr. Payne? Who wants to know? Alfred Wooden. You must hurry. The police are on their way. Tell me something I don't know. They know you're there. How? And what's it to you? I will contact you again. The cops arrived, sirens singing in the off-key harmony of a manic depressive choir. I had a few minutes while the SWAT team would go through their usual routine. By the time they busted in, I needed to be long gone. Oh, Max Payne! This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. Oh no, we out of here. True, true. You said. Real quick. I'm not falling for that trick, but we have to keep. No. I swear. Every time we die, we gotta keep starting over. We gotta get out of here. Twelve on my ass, though. Without a key, I'd never get past this door. So do they have a key? Okay, okay, okay. We're just going back. We're just we're just backtracking at this point. Uh, we didn't go in here. Someone had left a letter on the counter. Suddenly it all made sense. The bombs, the Russian mob boss making an appearance in person. Gogniti was his usual self. All talk and no walk. After I hit, the Russian has only a couple of guns left and they can be bought. There's no freaking way he has the guts to try anything after that. As it turned out, the Russian had plenty of guts. One thing he could count on, you push a man too far and sooner or later he'd start pushing back. Thanks. Okay. Oh, yep, almost forgot. That's, that was our only way out, and we totally blew it. <laughs> Ignore the pun. Okay, okay. Oh, 
scared the shit out of me, boy. Did he just try to blow me up? Watch out, bro. Hell is going up up here, bro. Okay, okay, okay. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Someone had left a letter on the counter. There was a key on the shelf. Okay, okay, okay. Let's not do that stupid thing like we did last time and uh, jump to our own deaths. Uh, there we go, there we go. Okay. That was a close one, bro. Shots are coming from like oh my god. They really down to kill me, man. Can we like get out from right here? Coop, coop, coop. <laughs> 